6 February 1840, the Treaty of Waitangi was signed, meaning the British and Maori would have partnership, protection and peace between them. Whereas, this is what the Maoris thought, when on the other side, the British took it as having full authority on the Maori lands, trades and the Maori authority that was supposed to be kept by the Maoris. Hone Hiki was Maya Rangatira, chief and war leader in northern New Zealand. He was nephew of Hongi Hika, whose daughter Ranga he married. Why do we need this treaty? We need it for protection given by the British along with the trades they bought for the Maori. Mmm, wine. William Colenso, the printer and witness for the Treaty of Waitangi. Samuel Ironside, a witness of the treaty reportedly for convincing the Maori chiefs into signing it. William Hobson, first official governor of New Zealand, approved by Lord Normandy. James Busby has a job of getting the treaty in on time. He is stubborn but hard working. Have you finished off the treaty yet? Is this all, sir? Yeah, I've been very ill lately, resulting to the finishing of the treaty. It will have to be done when I'm better. But there's only one day left for the signing. A meeting was held on the day of the signing. Why do we need this treaty, as this is our land? Why do we need the Crown's protection? Why should we ask the English for what we already have? We need the Crown's protection from the settlers that are continuously arriving and buying land from us. Chiefs are still deciding we have to sign it up. Hickey is convincing them. Sir, half of the Māori chiefs are departing. Some have already departed. We must hold the signing right away. But there is no time to waste now. We must hold the signing right away. All right, all right. I'll get ready. I'll meet you at the marquee. Hey, After the treaty was read, it was laid on a table with the quill ready to sign. Tension hung in the air as both the Maori and British wait for someone to make their move. Governor, we don't need your protection or your partnership. Go home. I will sign the treaty. Don't we sign. We don't need this treaty. We need the Crown's protection. This will help us a lot. Two more chiefs signed the treaty, and every time a chief signed, Hobson shook hands with them. An estimated further 500 chiefs had signed the treaty. After the treaty was signed, Europeans wanted to settle in New Zealand. Maori began complaining to the government with claims about land sales. When the government spoke with the Maori, they kept to the laws of the treaty. This was needed because the British still wanted the help of the Maori for food and other resources. After a while, the British ignored the Maori and tension erupted. Maori chiefs, including Honi Hiki, got angry with the British. Many chiefs had their own way of dealing with things, such as war and negotiations with the government. Even today, there are still some issues with the treaty, but we respect all laws and the history of treaty. The British didn't uphold the side of the treaty and actively protect the Maori. The treaty symbolizes Maori willingness to share this land. Over the years, conflict between the Maori and British is now fallen, and New Zealand is now a multicultural community. We need the cross protection from the settlers that are already. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>